am Katherine Fogelman White. I am a fantasy author and a writing coach and a book marketer and a little bit of this and a little bit of that and all of that good stuff. So today I wanted to do a follow-up video on how can you promote your book without using or having social media. All right, so let's get right into this. Last time we talked about um, using, setting up your website, using a newsletter, building that newsletter, all of that. So today we're going to go into book promotion websites. Some of these, I'm not going to lie, can be a little bit sketch. But there's a bunch of websites out there that will advertise your book for you. Most of them have huge newsletters of their own and they send out your book in their newsletters. They will blast it on their social media and they'll put it up on their website. So let's look at a couple of these. Some of them are free. Most of them you're going to have to pay some money. Some it'll be like five to ten dollars. Others can get really expensive. Not going to lie. So here I have a whole spreadsheet of some of the different websites that we have used before. And we would kind of put them on a rotation so that we're not using any of the same ones in the same 60 to 90 days. You want to spread it out. You don't want to keep reusing them within months of each other. If possible, you want to only advertise on one website, each of the websites once a year. So a lot of this, by the way, can be learned from uh, Wide for the Win. That is a book. I will put the link in the description below. I cannot remember the name of the author right off the top of my head. So one of the websites here that is free-ish is freebooksy.com. And so you'll go to the four authors area. And then if your book is free, if you have it listed as free on Amazon, you can buy a free booksy feature. Um, I said they were free. I don't actually, never mind. I don't think they're free. Um, so you can buy a promo stack. If your book is $4.99 or less, you can get a feature, a series post, a deal of the day slot. So, and obviously they only work within a couple of genres. So you would have to do a huge search and it's very hard. And I don't know where to tell you to start other than Facebook groups, but you can find them. And so if you're kind of in an odd genre, again, this is going to be a little bit hard, but there are websites out there that will do almost any genre or very specific genres, stuff like that. So again, you'll get featured in their newsletter. Um, they can handle your Amazon and Facebook ads for you. Just depends on how much money you're willing to throw at these people to get what you want. And it is a very good way to get your book in front of people and to get sales ticking up. All right, another one, ebookdaily.com. And so this is kind of what their website looks like. You can, uh, readers can see on their website, we've got the mystery and thriller section, the romance section, blah, 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 blah. And then they also have the um, their own newsletter as well. And obviously it's all full of ads. So... You want to make sure that you have protection on your computer before you go searching for a lot of these. Now, if you do have social media, especially Twitter or X or whatever Mr. Musco is doing with it, um, you can get on Twitter and find so many of these places on Twitter that will blast your book for low cost. So that is a great place to go. Um, 
but let me see if I can find one. All right, so this is readingdeals.com and they do have a free submission. Another one that often used to have free submission was bookangel.co.uk. They're under maintenance right now, so I don't know what's going on with them. They used to be good, though. Another one, newfreekindlebooks.com, which this is one that I found on Twitter. And they, of course, do the standard list on the website, send out an email, stuff like that. So they're a little bit smaller and they're still building. But what I've seen, they've been pretty good. And they, they, they definitely show free books. So again, it, your first book, if you can make it 99 cents or free... That's how you're going to get your name and your book out there. And even if it's only temporarily, say around the holidays or something every year, that you put it up for free and then blast it out on all of these different sites, that's going to be a really good way to try and build your following, build your book. Now, bookmarketingtools.com has a submission tool feature where you don't have to go and hunt for all of these websites here. I will be in the description below posting the links to some of these websites. Again, so many of them, they're sketch. They can be a little sketch because they have all of the ads and everything on them. And then some of them obviously come and go. And I don't know if like Book Angel will come out of maintenance or not. I'm assuming they will, but you you just never know uh, with these websites. So Book Marketing Tools makes it easy. You can pay them to submit to all of these different websites. Now, I will say I have not personally used Book Marketing Tools as of yet. I have talked to other authors who have and said it did save them hours and it worked very well. And they will submit to 25 or so promotion websites and just it has it all lined out. So all you have to do is get on there, fill out your information, put your book information and everything, and then they will take care of the rest. And it saves you a lot of time and effort. And again, it just depends on how much money you have and are willing to throw at these people. So I I recommend just doing it kind of once a year. Um, and unless you have a lot of websites that you've gathered and you can keep a spreadsheet and do the rotation throughout the year. You know, usually around Christmas is a good time to blast this out there and get it out there and let people know that, hey, my book is free or on sale for the entire month or whatever, and let them let them get it. So, all righty. Let's walk through a free submission here on readingdeals.com. I will be doing this for Mr. FB Spirit. Now, this free submission is obviously not a guaranteed spot, but hey, it's free. So if they do get it, awesome, if they do accept it. All right, confirm, confirm. So obviously going to need to put in the best contact email. Now, the ASIN number for the book. Okay. Let me find that. So you're going to go to Amazon. Ba, 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 ba. Let's just go with this one. Okay. So here we are at Amazon. You're ASIN number is going to be right down here. That is your ISBN for the ebook, basically. So in the product details, that's where you're going to find your ASIN number or ASIN number. 
and you're going to obviously drop it there. The title, the author, a quick description, 50 words or less. Something that we try to always do on our books is have like some sort of little teeny tiny description before the main description. Okay, so that's going to be important for all of these websites. Some of them will take the full description. Most of them just want a quick description. And then a lot of them also ask for a description separate from what you see on Amazon. Keep that in mind. You want to have at least three different descriptions. You want to have a quick one. You want to have the one that you will probably post on Amazon. Then you want to have like a fun, passionate one. Um, that's another video for another time. So then you'll put in what the current price is and what your promo price is going to be. Now, if you have a permanently free book, you would just put in what it normally is. So like this, you know, two ninety nine or something like that. And then, you know, just put in zero. Um, or if it's normally two ninety nine, or even say four ninety nine, and then we've dropped it down in this book's case to ninety nine cents. That's what you're going to do there. And then you're going to give them some start dates. So they have a little note here. The soonest date we're accepting book submissions is for August 9th. So if I were to pick a start date, I may try to like hit it in November. Let's shoot for November. And then the end date. You know, whatever. Now, if you're going to do a temporarily or like if you're exclusive with Amazon and you can do a sale um that's only going to last five days if I recall so you would only do like November 1st through the 5th sort of thing then you're going to choose your genre this one has quite a few not as many as I've seen on others but quite a few so obviously we're in the sci-fi and fantasy you're going to give them an Amazon URL as well. Where am I? Which one? There we go. And then if you can find, if you have it on Barnes and Noble, Apple, Kobo, Smashwords, if you have published wide and you're not just exclusive to Amazon, you will put those URLs in there as well. You can opt in to subscribe and blah, 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 and then submit. And that is basically, this is basically exactly how all the rest of them will be. So, yeah. Uh, so this is what I would recommend to you for if you don't have social media, you don't want to use social media, then this is the other thing I would recommend. So first of all, yes, absolutely get your website up and going, get a newsletter up and going, and that video is going to be up in here somewhere, hopefully, if I remember to post it um, and edit that in. So, but yes, Get a newsletter up and going. Start getting your newsletter full by using giveaways and stuff and newsletter builders. And then once a year or so, use some of these websites. And it just gets your book out there to readers that you don't have and other people who will share it with other people. And these people with the websites will use their social media to blast your book. And so get it out to even more people. So do they always work? are they always worth the money not always it depends on your book your book cover these these very much depend on you having a good book cover people absolutely judge the book by the cover so having a book cover good book cover having a good book description and a little blurb to go with it is going to be important to try and draw readers in and depending on what genre you are, and all of that good stuff. It's never a guarantee that you're going to really make your money back on it. But if you're just wanting to get your book out there, and then hopefully get people, especially if you have a series of books, 
more books to offer them. Hopefully to just start building your fan base and getting more people interested in reading your other books and maybe make some trickle down sales from that. Hey, it's a start. And once a year, spending a little money on your book, not the worst idea. So anyway, hope this helped. Uh, if you have any other tips, if you're an experienced author and you have any other tips, please leave those in the comments below. I will, of course, in the description, try to leave some of these websites in the description, as well as Wide for the Win, the book, um, by whatever the author's name is. I'm, I'm terrible with names, y'all, not even going to lie. And... That should give you a little bit of a jump start on how to get your book out there to people. So you pick the time of year, you pick the rotation. If you wanted to do each website once a month or uh, one website a month and have 12 websites lined out, that works too. However you want to do it and keep track of it, just definitely I do recommend you keep track of it, keep a spreadsheet going, and that way you know if a website really isn't working for you, if you're not getting your sales back, and if you're not getting interest from it, you can nix it and move on. So if you've got any questions, leave those in the comment. Please like and share with your author friends and subscribe.